ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel here today and we are back for another video here today guys and we're going to be doing another recording slash live stream tutorial here today as we're going to teach you guys how to use stream labels straight from the Streamlabs website and stream labels basically will give us stuff like follower count last donation follow trains etc so basically on the website here i'm going to show you guys how stream labels works as well as how you can use it using obs studio if you guys have any questions please make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i do appreciate your support and check in the description if you guys did miss our streamlabs tutorial it is uh down below in the description as well in the card in the top right if you miss any also any other recording slash live stream tutorials please go check the playlist down below as well all right guys so how stream labels works it basically you have to go on the Streamlabs website, either link your Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, or Facebook account. Now, the last time I had made this video, six months ago, Streamlabs did not have Mixer or Facebook. So those are new, recently added things. Streamlabs has a lot of new things. They've constantly been updating, actually, recently. So, that's awesome. So how do we get Streamlabels downloaded? We're going to ask ourselves that question. Obviously, we're going to go to the stream label section under widgets after we get to the Streamlabs website after we link our account, whether it be our YouTube, Mixer, or Twitch account, once we link that in. And we're going to pick our processing. We're going to either go Windows or OXX, and Linux is not here yet, so eventually, supposedly, they're going to be adding it soon. So after this, we're going to click Windows, since I'm using Windows here. And if you notice on the bottom left here, we're going to have a download. So after that, we're basically going to click it. It'll turn on like this. So we're going to click this. We're going to click sign in, whatever social media you want. We're going to say Twitch here. Then after we log in, authorize our account, obviously. And we're going to choose an output directory. So basically, what is an output directory? Basically, it's what, what folder we're going to put our files into. So we're going to choose output directory. What I recommend here is that you go to documents. I already have a folder set up here, but I recommend you're not going to have one made yourself. So you're going to right click. You're going to click New, Folder, and once you have that folder made, you're really going to tap it once, select the folder. And as you see here, pops up, boom, and there you go. I don't stream on Twitch obviously all the time, so there's not a lot of alerts, but here are some of the recent alerts, guys. So, what we're going to do here, obviously, we have we can obviously mute the alerts, we can pause them, we can skip, as well as we can copy. So what we want to do here to find, like I said, our follow trains, etc., we're going to click the setting bar. And like I said here, there are a ton of options. Top donors, top 10 top donors, top donations, donation amount, etc. There is a ton. Whether what social media platform you be, whether it be Mixer, YouTube, or Twitch, there's obviously benefits to every one here. And that's why I'm glad Streamlabs branched out. So for example, we're going to do, let's, let's, let's find something here. So we want to do our most recent follower. And obviously we're going to say, you know, we can obviously put something different like saying recent follower. We could just put that if we wanted to. And you guys can obviously put whatever you want based on your brand or your channel and that. And once you do that, you're going to click the save button, setting saved. All right. So now once you have that setting saved, how are you going to get into OBS? You're obviously, this is what you came for. You're curious. How do you put this into OBS? So we're going to click on OBS Studio. We're going to go to scenes, go to sources right click scroll up to add go all the way down to text we're just gonna call this follower whatever you guys obviously can call whatever the hell you want to then we're going to click the read from file right under the font and then here we go we gotta find the file obviously so we're gonna go back to that document Streamlabs and obviously here it all is so we need to find the recent follower and like I said, there's a ton of stuff here. This is for everything, basically, whether it be on Mixer or YouTube. So here it is, most recent follower. And this is my most recent follower, Cyber Smurf. And obviously, we want to change the font up, maybe make it a little bigger. We obviously can change it here, 36. And then maybe we want to make it bold. And then maybe change the certain font. And you guys can change a lot. There's a lot of stuff with here in the writing. So I'm just going to choose this. And like I said, recent follower right there. See, right from that, we updated it from Streamlabs, and there it is, recent follower. And like I said, there's stuff with donations, there's stuff with bits, there's stuff with Mixer followers, YouTube subscribers, sponsors. This is one of the most handy things you could possibly use, like I said, if you want to get stuff like that on your screen. 
And like I said, again, maybe you want to choose a background color or align it differently, but we're not going to do that, obviously, here. And then, boom, you see it right there, right on screen. Obviously, we can move it wherever the heck we want. Obviously, increase the size of it if we choose. And then there it is. And then once we get a new follower, it will instantly update. And then, boom, we're done. That's basically all you need to do, guys, to set up stream labels. Now, obviously, let's say you end your stream and you want to restart the session. Like I said, you don't want the recent things to show up. You're going to click this restart button right here. And that will restart your session so you won't have to deal with any of the issues of having to you know, get a stream restarted all over again. And like I said, again, you could do this with either Mixer, YouTube, or Twitch. So you just have to sign into the one you obviously want to do. And like I said, remember, click that setting bar, and it'll come with all these different. And then obviously, you can put your custom text or whatever. And when you're done, make sure you click that save button. Make sure you click that save button because if you don't click it, it will not save your custom settings. Let's say you put a little text in front. It will not save your settings. So you have to do that for sure. And then, obviously, I think that's all, really, guys. If there's anything else I missed, please make sure to tell me. And then obviously, you can, like I said, skip certain alerts. And maybe if you want to repop them on screen, you can hit it here. And then, boom, they'll show back up. All right, guys, that has been the tutorial here today, guys. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new on the channel. Obviously, I only showed followers here, but the same is all. It will work the same for any other thing. Just make sure, again, you do change the settings. Like I said, if you want to do that, make sure you save it. Then make sure, again, you go to Scenes. Make sure you add a source. Again, go to Text. Name it again. And then, like I said, again, you're going to click Read from File. And then, like I said, pick the file from your folder. And like I said, there's all these different options you can pick. All right, guys, if you have any questions that I can help you out with, please make sure to leave me a comment down below in the the description if you guys did enjoy please make sure you like and subscribe if you're new i did like i said i have another tutorial on streamlabs you want to go check that link down below in the description if you guys have any other streamlab tutorials you potentially want us to do please make sure to go comment them down below and thank you all again for your support on the channel i do appreciate it. we go for 100 likes that would be fantastic and i love you all hope you all enjoy this tutorial again i am open to criticism so if you have any complaints any questions please make sure to leave them down below in the description and thank you all again for watching i'll holler at you on the next video Peace out.